Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home from work we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho. Hey, friendship friends, I hope it's been a good day so far. We are continuing to talk about the little seven men that Snow White loved. And we've talked about Bashful and Doc and Dopey and Grumpy and Happy. So today we're going to talk about somebody who needs to wake up. Ah, uh, yep, time to wake up. Come on, it's we're going to talk about Sleepy. Sleepy's the dwarf that lives the life we all wish we could live sometimes. Sleepy's always sleeping, you know? Doesn't matter where he is. If he gets drowsy, then there's no stopping this little dwarf from falling sound asleep. You might remember when Snow White was meeting all the seven dwarfs, and she says to Sleepy, and you are... And he went... Oh, and she said, you're sleepy. And he said, how'd you guess? Yeah, he has those droopy eyelids and that just overall tired look. Looks like a teenager making his way to school in the mornings, you know. Yeah, but don't let his tiredness fool you. He works just as hard as the rest of the dwarfs. But he still needs this wonderful alarm clock to get him up in the morning. Now, I imagine that in the past months, since we've had to stay home from work, um, that some of you have slept a little bit more than usual. And maybe some of you have slept a lot more than usual. You slept in, yes, it's been hard to get out of bed sometimes, and maybe we've become just a bit lazy. And I understand that. We need our sleep. It's important for our bodies to get the right amount of rest. Speaking of rest, do you remember in the Bible where it mentions sleeping or getting rest? Well, there are a few times, yes, and you may remember the one story where Jesus falls asleep in the boat. We've talked about that one before. And the Bible often references how Jesus, even during his time of ministry, when he got tired, he would pull away from the crowd and he would go find some place to rest in private. The Bible also speaks about how when we sleep, we can sleep comfortably knowing that God is our protector. Psalm 4 verse 8 says, I will lie down in sleep and in peace. Lord, you alone keep me safe. That's a pretty good verse. Lord, I will lie down and sleep in peace for you, Lord, keep me safe. Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, 21 and verse 24 says, Hold on to good sense and the understanding of what is right. When you lie down, you won't be afraid. When you lie down, you will sleep soundly. So it's giving us confidence knowing that if we believe in God and trust in Him, we can sleep peacefully. And that's good to know. We can rest well knowing that God is protecting us. So those are good references to sleep. There's also some Bible uh, verses and some scripture references regarding the times when we shouldn't be sleeping. You might remember the story of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was praying to God. It was the night before. It was right before he was arrested and crucified. And Jesus was praying to God. And he had asked his disciples to come and pray with him. And guess what happened? Yeah, they fell asleep several times that night when he was asking for their help and their attention and their friendship. They fell asleep. Can you imagine how Jesus felt about that? Did you ever fall asleep in church or during a sermon or listening to somebody talking on and on and on? Like, I hope you're not falling asleep right now. Well, <laughs> I'll try to keep you awake. Wait, well, let's do the alarm. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. But there's a story in Acts, Acts chapter 20, verses 7 through 12. You might want to go back and read it. Paul, the apostle Paul, was preaching. And it's been a long day, and he's been talking for quite a while. And the Bible says it's almost midnight. Can you imagine being in church at midnight? Well, there's this young man whose name is Eutychus. And Eutychus was sitting in this window listening to the Apostle Paul preach. And Paul went on and on and on, and it says that Eutychus fell into a deep sleep. And while he was asleep, he fell from the third floor onto the ground below. Wow. Now, for the rest of the story, you're going to have to go to Acts chapter 20, verses 7 through 12, to find out what happened to Eutychus. But he fell asleep in church. You know what? Sometimes we can sleep too much. Proverbs 
Um, chapter 20, verse 13 says, Don't love sleep, or you may become poor. Don't love sleep, or you may become poor. Yeah, we really shouldn't be sleeping too much. We need sleep, but we shouldn't get too much sleep. Taking care of ourselves is all about balance. So continue to rest well. However, you don't want to spend all day in bed. Please, don't do that. We need to get up. We need to get out. And we need to get going. So take a walk. Get some exercise. Find something productive to do. On these days when the sunshine is out, go sit on the front porch or the back porch or on the deck or the patio or whatever you may have. Um, and if you take a nap there, I guess that's okay. However, we don't want to stay inactive and stay in bed all day. We don't want to be like sleepy who needs to have the alarm clock, wake up all the time to get him awake. Oh, sleepy. <laughs> we, we don't want to be sleepy all the time. So I'm wishing you a day that's filled with good rest, but also good activity and many, many happy things. Be blessed today and be at peace.